happy Monday, everyone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about comparing fractions on a number line. Last week we talked about how to compare fractions with shapes and by cross multiplying um, and by using models. So today we're gonna start by or start with comparing on a number line. So let's start off, and you can put this comparing fractions on a number line at the top of your page for your notes. And let's just start out with the fractions 1 fourth and 1 eighth. So to do this, I first need to draw my number line. So I'm going to do that here below. And for this, you're going to want to have two number lines, okay? And one of these number lines you're going to divide into fourths, and the other number line you are going to divide into eighths. So I'm going to do this top number line in fourths. Um, so... Before that's not quite equal. Alright. And this bottom number line down here, I'm going to do in eighths. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on, I didn't quite get that uh, equal. All right, there we go. So I have eighths and I have fourths. So the way I wanna do this is I'm actually going to plot these points or these fractions on my number line. And I'm gonna do this one fourth in this pink. So I know that one fourth would be right here. This is one fourth. And I'm gonna do this one eighth in red. Uh, so I know that one eighth is going to be right here. So now by looking at my number line, I can tell which one is going to be the bigger fraction, uh, which one is further furthest. So I can see this one fourth actually comes over more. So I know one fourth is going to be greater than one eighth. As you can see, it's further along on my number line than one eighth is. Uh, because just like with when we were doing it last week with the shapes, if we look at our number line, the spaces in between are actually going to be shorter with the eighths. So as you can see, these spaces are a little bit shorter than with your eighths. So let's, let's look at another one. Let's say I have the fraction, let's use the fraction 2 thirds and 5 eighths. So again, I want to draw my number lines and I want to try to make them the same size. Okay, um, zero, and we know this is going to be one, zero, and one. So again, I'm going to make this top number line my thirds, and I'm going to make this bottom line my eighths. Okay. 
Okay. So just like last time, I'm going to do this two thirds just so you can see it. Um, I'm going to do this two thirds in this pink color. And again, I'm going to plot this. So this would be one third and two thirds. And so we could label that two thirds. And again, this five eighths I'm going to do in a red so you can see it. So we need to count to five eighths. One, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. And I'm going to put a point and label it five eighths. Again, uh, looking at our spaces in between our marks on our number line, I can see that my spaces for my thirds are bigger than my spaces for my eighths. Because remember, as our denominator gets bigger, our pieces get smaller. Uh, so I can see that two thirds is going to be greater than five eighths. So I'm going to put one on here and I would like for you to try it. So let's use three fourths and one half. I would like for you to pause this video and try to do this one and then come back and check yourself. So again, just like before, I'm going to draw my two number lines. Doing my best to make them the same. And then I'm going to make this top one my fourths. Make zero. And we know over here is going to be one. Fourths. And we have the bottom one is going to be our halves. Which I'm going to fix my number line up here just a little bit. So, we know that we need to plot these points. So, three fourths I'm going to do in pink. One, two, three fourths. Three over four. And that one half I'm going to do in red. One half. And looking at my number line, um, I can see that my three-fourths is further closer to this one uh, than my one-half. So three-fourths is going to be greater than one-half. And the last one, I want you to pause it and try this one on your own. Let's do two, six, and one. Okay, pause this video and try this one and then come back and check yourself. So again, I'm going to draw my number line. Zero, one, I know I need six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to draw my other number line, and I know that I need it in thirds. Okay. So let's look and see. Let's plot our two sixths. And something with your number line, you want to try to line up your marks. So when you're drawing these, um, do your best to try and line them up. A little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have two six, and I'm gonna do that in pink. I'm gonna plot this point here, and I have one third, which I'm gonna plot in red. Now, looking at these two, I can see that they are at the same mark or the same amount of space over. So I can come to the conclusion that 2 6 is going to be equal to 1 3rd. And again, just looking at this spacing, these the spacing for your thirds is going to be a little bit larger than your spacing for these sixths 
Because remember, again, as our denominator gets bigger, that space between our pieces is going to get smaller, or the space between these tick marks in our number line is going to get smaller. So today, your classwork is called Comparing Fractions on a Number Line, and it's going to have you do the same thing that we practiced um, in this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.